This kit represents one thing. It represents keeping people alive. The Milwaukee Fire Department taking new measures in the war on drugs. It's our big story tonight at 6, offering hope to survive an overdose. Milwaukee emergency responders, they're giving out Narcan and fentanyl test strips, no questions asked. Our Brett Lemoyne joins us live now at a fire station on the city's south side, where Milwaukee is seeing an increase in drug-related deaths. Brett. Yeah, that's right, Ben and Stephanie. In fact, doctors say in the last five years, Milwaukee County has seen a near doubling of overdose deaths, and fentanyl is playing a huge part of that problem. One mother says if this new program had launched sooner, it may have saved her son's life. It was a year ago Nicole Davis lost her son Donovan to an overdose. He was only 19 and ended up getting coke laced with fentanyl. Since then, she's been active with the group One Pill Kills, placing billboards in Milwaukee to raise awareness about the deadly consequences of fentanyl. I didn't know about fentanyl until him. I had no idea. Awareness isn't enough. That's why Monday, the Milwaukee Fire Department started handing out hope kits. This kit represents one thing. It represents keeping people alive. All department engines and trucks will now carry them. Inside, you'll find the overdose treatment Narcan and fentanyl test strips. If they're needing to use, they can test so that they know they're not about to take something in that is way more than they uh, bargained for. Alderman Michael Murphy says the vast majority of county overdose deaths are because of fentanyl. Last year was the worst year ever. Um, over 650 people, according to the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner, lost their lives due to overdose deaths. Emergency crews will hand them out when called to an overdose. Teams will also distribute them when they follow up with victims a day or two later. Hopefully it's opening people's eyes and letting them know fentanyl is out there. Davis says it's something that could have saved her son's life. Now she's praying it can save someone else's. And the city will start with an initial order of 1,000 kits. The kits are donated. Their contents are from a federally funded Narcan Direct program. And the fire department stresses they will not share the names of anyone who uses or requests these kits. It'll be all kept anonymous. Reporting live on the city's south side, Brett Lemoyne, Fox 6 News. All right, Brett, we'll see if it works. Thanks.